and welcome to Dotcast number seven. How are we all doing this fine evening, gentlemen? Radiant. <laughs> Radiant. Perpendicular. Uh, Hamish has been on the beers already, I can tell. <laughs> That's when the fine English comes out. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yeah, apologies for any background noise. The, I've, I've moved back to the flat um, and now have bin lorries emptying the bins at half seven in the morning and half nine at night. So it does sound like kind of a couple of T-Rex mating outside, but don't <laughs> don't be alarmed if you hear anything. Um, we, we all had a good week. Been up to anything exciting? Well, don't don't all jump in at once. <laughs> it's been one of those weeks, isn't it? It's just one of those uh, weeks that everything just sort of stays the same. Not a lot's going on, apart from Callum. Stop me going on with him. Oh yes, Callum, your hat has a conspicuous bulge underneath it missing. That, that, <laughs> I could have could have worded that better. <laughs> Would you stop talking about my bulge, please? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am. Um, I'm hiding something. Go Get on, sh- show go the world. On. Oh, we go. Hey! <laughs> bald day! It's a bald. It feels. It looks so weird with the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, maybe do that. Does that look like a bit better? It's it's just a crew cut. Strong hairline. I ordered the uh, I ordered the clippers uh, the other day. I just it was really really windy the other day, and. Uh, I just, I, I had enough. So I ordered the clippers, shaved it all off, and I quite like it. I think I'll keep it for a wee while. You do suit it when you get it done. I think you do. Low maintenance. I've had uh, 11 from Stranger Things, and uh, Louis Spence just popped into my head when I was looking at myself. <laughs> then, <so>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's a, like, a slightly throwback one. I don't think yeah. he's as relevant as he used to be. That's one for <laughs> the older <laughs> listeners. <laughs> They'd have to catch me first. I'm like a whippet. <laughs> <laughs> what what's Luna been up to? Any shenanigans? Yes. Weekly dog update. Um, yeah, she's getting bigger, getting longer. Um, we we got a video today that she pissed on the floor. That was quite funny. Um, <laughs> this is what's in store for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Glad to see she's comfortable around you already. Totally. Like father, like dog. <laughs> You piss on four, 50 euro fine. <laughs> Each time. <laughs> Each time. That's like when Luna arrives and Hannah's like giving her all the attention. You, you piss on floor. <laughs> Read the sign. <laughs> Hamish, the, the main thing that you seem to have done this week is <laughs> comb your beard. <laughs> Whenever we're... I can do this now. It's pretty good. It's like, what? what's the aim? What's, what's the long term... See you later, Cal. The aim is to get a a substantial beard, but I never thought it'd be one of those ones where you'd have to get a wee comb it. But I tell you, it gets fucking wild, especially when you're working out, outside and stuff, blown about in that. You got to give it a wee sort of bit of maintenance. You get some there. oils in there. I've got some oils in it right now, mate. Olive, extra. Virgin. I was going to say that's, that's an oily looking beard. Little bit of fry light. And uh, it's great. <laughs> does, the, does, the, does the job. Great. Fry light. What the fuck, man? It's something. Like, like <laughs> Keeps Amazon it in the fridge. Like, fry light. Yeah, yeah. We bit of stork, man. Just get the stork in the hands of that. <laughs> I've been hearing some vicious rumours. You want to buy a movie, boy? That's a great question, Nick. Thank you. My name's Garrett. Hey, man. What have you been drinking? Drink of the week. So when I went last week to get the, the beer for last week's pod, which was the fancy German one, I got four and I thought I'll space it out over the next four pods and you know that'll be my nice fancy beer. But my one is actually going for, rather than quality or something fancy, I, I got four Hobgoblins gold which i know is our favorite drink to have together hamish for four yes. pounds in morrison's four pounds that's absolutely spectacular prices that stupendous stupendous confectionery but, but hob- that hob- is my, gold. yeah that is my drink of the week when we used to do a little tour on like a thursday night hamish 
We started the commercial in Dunfermline, the oldest man's pub in all of Fife, probably. Um, Hobby Gold. And when it, when they had Hob, Hob Goblin Gold, it was a fine day. It was beautiful. It I think beautiful. you get a bonus point for the uh, the deal there. No, well, that's what I thought. Because like, there's various levels of like how you how you rate drink of the week, and it yeah. it could be what a size good of deal. can are they? Uh, Four forty, I think. Four forty MLS, mate. That's fucking damn, is that? Yeah, that's... Oh, no, 500! Five! Five! Fuck it, hell! 500 mils! Jesus. <laughs> You're yeah. in fucking London now! <laughs> I'm absolutely robbing Mr. Morrison. Um, well, <clears throat> I was a little bit busy this afternoon, so didn't have much time, so I had to, uh, had to pop to old Mr. Tesco, Morrison's little brother, and... Mr. They T... Have a, they have a. They used to sell these, and then they stopped for a long time. I've got a hand at the Tesco. Their their choice of beer is pretty good, but they used to sell them. They don't. They, then they stopped. Then they're back, and it is a Brewdog Mister President. Oh. And it comes in at nine point two percent. Two pound a bottle, and she hits. She hits. She hits. It's good. By, by the time we get to what have you been watching, we'll just like mute you. It'll be okay. <laughs> Probably best. But yeah, <laughs> Mr. President. There she is. I, I remember that from a while ago. Yeah, she's a, a double IPA. What is a, what's a double IPA? Ah, see, it's... Do you, think, uh, <laughs> do you think they get to a point with beer and they're just like, let's just, you know, just add a few, like a double IPA or like... It's something to do in the, in, in the brewing process. They, like they, the hops. They do something twice, I think. Because you get triple ones too. Double hop. Is, yeah. it, is it just like a bottle that's twice as big as a normal IPA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? Yeah, it's something to do with a double amount of something. But fuck those Alcohol, by the sounds of it. <laughs> yeah. It does the Guys, job. drop that in the comments if you know. Um... <laughs> <laughs> like, share and subscribe. <laughs> Smash that like button, Gregor. What are what are you? I'm tippling? I'm just on. I'm on a a bog standard Joker IPA this evening. Oh, classic! That's um, that's a staple. Of, it is a staple a, of, of a good a beer. I think I've I've really pushed the boundaries the past couple of weeks, so I had to you know reel it back in. You know, <laughs> let somebody else get take the win tonight. Kyle. You, are you going to show us up? I, earlier on, you sent us a Snapchat and you had a can of Corona with a chunk of lime in it. I have to say, uh, I was in a bit of a rush today and uh, I went for that because of the novelty. Because I think the last time we were in Nashville, we were sitting on a rooftop bar drinking cans of Corona. So I've, I've got another one just now. Oh, oh he's got the lime and everything. With the lime, oh, yeah. with the lime. That's the money shot there. A cocktail. Um, Here's here's an unpopular opinion. Limes and beers are wank as well. <laughs> cool. Thanks a lot for that, Reese. <laughs> <laughs> You're about three pods too late, mate. But thank I you. know, I know, I know. Lime and your beer is wank. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you know where lime and in, in Corona started? Do you know why it's a thing? No. It's like back when they originally bottled them, and they like. I think oh. they had a bit of a rat problem. So people used to, when they popped the cap, um, rub lime around the rim of the bottle to like so the acid would burn away some of the germs. Tastes delicious, baby. Jesus. There's rats in my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoy it, so thanks, Reese, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went for a juice box citrus IPA. Oh, that does look Very fancy. nice. I feel where, like where did had, you pick that up about Reese? Um, the co-op in Townhill Road. Nice. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Ah uh, yes. The, 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 there's so, something that happened recently that will n- not be shared until later pods for secrecy issues. But I think people are subtly dropping hints about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so we shall move on. Um, I will vote for. Purely for the lime effort, I'm going to give Cal a vote. Thank you very much. I will give, um, well, definitely not Reese. I'll have to give Hamish <laughs> my vote. Thank you, Shaq Kenzo. I'll give my vote 
even though he was wide. I, I, Reese, I like that can. The yeah, can, nice can there is uh, is exquisite. It's a nice can, and it's got a little a little tape on it. You get my vote for that. Thank you. Uh, I, I'll go with. You know what? To make him feel bad, I'm gonna I'm gonna call him my vote because Corona <laughs> Corona in the can does sound decent. I've never tried it. Thanks very much. I've got to say, <laughs> I, I'm 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 the same. I, I I have not had a Corona in Lyme in some time. I'm a little bit envious. So, um, yeah, Corona wins in 2021. Fucking hell! Well done. <laughs> <laughs> right, turn up for the books. What have we been watching? What have we been watching? <sighs> yeah, th- thought we'd throw in what have we been watching a little bit earlier this week. Mix it up. Keep keep the listeners on their toes. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in because I think I might have a couple other people's things, but this is off of a recommendation of another, another person, but behind her eyes. If you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, guys, <laughs> oh, watch it. <laughs> Just finished it uh, as we were having dinner, and uh, it's it's really good, isn't it? It is yeah. very well written. Have you seen and, it, Hamish? Yes, I have. I've seen it all, mate. I've seen it all. I might have well, recommended it to a few people, <laughs> but... <laughs> pretty, pretty mad ending, eh? Do you think there's going to be a series two? I hope so, yeah. That would, yeah. There, there always is, isn't there? There's I think for it. they've there's left it in a way that they could do a series two, but it could also just be a classy, kind of weird ending. Yeah. Yeah. Art House um, Cinema's my fave. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, the, the guy that's in it, um, I, I, I mean, I, I saw 15 minutes of it, but I, I can't remember what he sounds like. I'm sure he reminded me of someone. Um, <laughs> I, I, listened, great, great. I listened to this. <laughs> are, you, are, are you sure about that? <laughs> Gregor, have you seen it yet at all? No. <laughs> watch, watch an episode. Right? Just watch the first episode, even if you don't like it. But this this guy, it's an English actor doing a, you know, doing a Scottish accent, oh, for and it sounds just like sake. an impression of you. He's like, surely. He's like, I'm a, I'm a psychologist. I've just moved from Scotland to London. Surely not. <laughs> I like my Macallum 12 under my desk. <laughs> Macallum 12 with ice. Um, Reese, any anything of note this week? Um, I, well, I did watch Behind Her Eyes. It was very good. Um, but recently having a little Coldplay phase, so rewatched the Coldplay documentary. Oh, it's so good. That, amazing. I, I didn't, yeah, it's been out for ages, I guess, but I kind of watched it and like, yeah, that bit where he, predicts like almost to the day when they're going to hide in Glastonbury when they're basically like they're not even I don't even know if they're signed or anything like that it's like was it four years from now Cope are going to be a massive band going to headline Glastonbury and then it like jumps to them four years later actually doing it so mad, pretty yeah. mad That's crazy, yeah. so happy for them <laughs> <laughs> proud of the boys what, what do you think we'll be doing in four years time what's your prediction Hopefully playing at least a fucking gig somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) Dot dot cast episode 333. (laughs) So this week... Our subject is a, a, a little bit of a cheat because we're copying a, an old BBC Three like rubbish TV show, Snog Marry Avoid. Um, so, I, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a risky one. Don't quite know where people are going to take it or what people um, are going to choose. Does Did, did anybody... I, I've got a big list of them. Do, does anybody have any that they'd like to go with first? Did I've got know? I've got a theme. Oh yes, please. I've gone for the theme of like kind of TV agony ants slash you know. Uh, I don't really know even know how to describe the the type of TV it is, but basically my three people are uh, Jeremy Kyle, Jerry Springer, 
and uh, Trisha Goddard. <laughs> I was just waiting for Judge Judy to be in there, no? <laughs> All right, take out take out um, Trisha Goddard and it's Judge Judy instead. That's better. Jeremy, yeah. Jeremy. <laughs> I, I I think Jeremy Kyle just seems like a proper wanker. I I, yeah. I think I think for me he'd have to get stuck in the void. Can we swap the avoid for punch? If you want to punch Judge Judy, mate, that's up to you. I will <laughs> no, not no. be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Judge Judy, Jeremy Kyle. I don't like him. Well, what, what you choose to do with your three people is up to you. Fantastic. <laughs> he owes me He owes me £2.50. <laughs> you could just go on, Jeremy Kyle, for that. Yeah. <laughs> the, this, the stuff that you get in Jer- like these kind of shows, it's, it's the fights that's absolutely the best part. I think it's just the people being so stupid. Like, you see that clip floating about on Facebook of, like, this big, pure, like, this, 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 this guy, and he's like, oh, yeah, the police arrested me, uh, and I got charged for harassment. And it's like, what did you, uh, it's like, what did you do? He goes, well, I was, I was harassing her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think you just played yourself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> And, then, and they actually think that there's like tiny, tiny, sort of like skinny, sort of like wee junky looking boy now that's going to take on like five bouncers and that, but they square up to them anyway. It's just so good. <laughs> mm. The telly is so good. Do you, do you remember the, the Judge Rinder one? Um, and it was the guys from Dunfermline and they, they, they got barred from Lorenzo's. Uh, and then went into Lorenzo's in Halloween dressed up as Jack and Victor from Still Game and then won the best fancy dress competition <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and it was like they didn't get their prize because then people were tagging them and they're like oh wait you're barred <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant I didn't know that yeah. or, or there's the one have you seen that where the, the woman from Glasgow is like dog <laughs> tried to shag the cat or something she can't even stop laughing <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the owner of the dog. <laughs> but the the dog was shagging the cat. Wait, yeah, I so the people, yeah. this like husband and wife, uh, they took this other woman to to court because her dog uh, tried to shag their cat. <laughs> They're like, oh, we just want you to apologise, and you know, it's just like goes like straight on her face, and she's like, I'm I'm sorry, and then she's like, oh. <laughs> Can't contain it. Did you not see like our cat was on pills for anxiety and depression because our the neighbour's dog hid yeah. under the bed all the time. Never knew that was a thing. Antidepressants for cats. The, the dog starts barking in the court. She's like, "Shagger down." <laughs> <laughs> Let you horn dog. <laughs> Right, so ah. you're, you're punching Jeremy Kyle. Who are yeah. you? Uh, who are you marrying? Judge Judy sounds quite wholesome. I don't watch very much, but in fact, no, she seems quite angry. That, she does seem quite lot. angry. She listen, kind of, uh, she she give you a row for coming in late or missing dinner or something like that. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll marry Jerry Springer. That's a good one to marry. He's he's going to give you a lot of entertainment at the weekends yeah. as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I bet <laughs> Jerry, well, Jerry <laughs> I mean it's all it's, it's gonna all be gonna be about him, isn't it? Come on fucking spring in your step <laughs> <laughs> Well he's got a pal as well <laughs> Shag <Shagging> again <laughs> You know, avoid wee Judy because you don't want to be up there or sore night with the judge and all that. You want to avoid that shit. Jezza Kyle, he's gonna, <laughs> he's he's be a good guy to marry. You know, you're not no problems. He's your son. Your argument, he'll stop it, and that's it. I'm he's sure his fine. marriage is going downhill and got divorced. I believe recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. for, for like well, the no, I'm sticking, time. I'm sticking with it. And you snog, you snog Jerry. I mean, come on. I'm sorry, Robbie, I've got to give you a formal warning. Can someone turn my bass up? Surely no. Surely my bass needs to be louder. Jim, Bombay. Turn up my bass. Surely, boys in the squad. See that knob on the bass amp? Turn it up. 
surely not talking about that, base. Surely, Bassy. Stoner Stoby. I don't know. You reference my name to a drug. Surely not. <laughs> you reference my name to a drug. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, so, so many gems. Have, have we, have we, have we told the you referenced my name to a drug story on the pod? Can we? Don't think we have. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I think you have to. We, uh, me and Will were uh, just going through uh, the Instagram of a certain um, fast, well, not fast food, a restaurant chain that Gregor was uh, working at at the time, and. We'd uh, we'd given him the the lovely nickname of Stoner Stoby, uh, not saying he's a stoner at all. That's on you to decide. And uh, <laughs> look at those eyes. eyes. I think oh! <laughs> 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 we uh, I think we commented on one of the Instagram posts. Is going like, can we <laughs> can we have a large portion of the Stoner Stoby, please? <laughs> To which Gregor's boss messaged him, going, "Think you know these people?" And Gregor just messaging, I think you, I think you message well, just be like, "The joke, there's got to be a line for the jokes." Well, you know, you've referenced my name to a drug. <laughs> <laughs> but it's one of those innocent comments that probably to absolutely everyone listening has just gone, "What?" <laughs> yeah. But for for us, it's provided like four years of laughs. <laughs> Anyway, Callum, I think you are the one in charge of Surely Surely Not today. I am, yeah. I've I've got a couple. I've got like four or five, and I'll just ramble through them, and we can edit which ones are good, and which ones are crap. Do you have pen and paper? Nah, no. none of that shit, man. We'll no. just do it as as and when it comes and goes. So, at least what, what you're laughing at? I, just, I, I don't know. Man. I don't even know. <laughs> How is that? How is that? Like Callum going, nah, no, that shit, man. <laughs> I just see recently that. I think uh, just before I'd like to start, um, just quickly mention that Gregor Reese and I were having a discussion about Scotland and we're talking about in between Dunfermline and Edinburgh, to which Reese just went, Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was just, I was just having a lot. I, no excuses, it's just a moment of stupidity. You you do just every now and then just come out with absolute gems, Reese. I know, I don't help myself, man. <laughs> like, if Stoby gets rinsed for saying a reference my name to a drug, like, I deserve to get rinsed for that for the rest of my days, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> T- take it like a man. I like it. I like it. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll say the question. You say surely or surely not. And then I'll say which one it is. And Gregor will cut me off with a jingle hopefully okay fingers at the ready right so first one k the letter k is worth four points in scrabble Ooh. oh uh, shit, scrabble i can't spell i i played scrabble on my phone for like a week non-stop and it got quite addictive so i deleted it but i think it's a yes i think what he's done here is he's gone is he's found the actual fact and he's taken one off of it. I think it's like three or five or something. So, surely not. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, <laughs> surely not as well. Okay. Oh, two and two. Two and two. Well, it's surely not. Oh, no, no, surely. <laughs> Great. One, one job, no. Gregor. One job. <laughs> Hit the right one. Surely yeah, yeah. not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in fact worth five. Oh, it's a he's great... rumbled you. There, it's Gregor. However, Gregor is not tr- correct. I've not gone just to a fact site. I just typed in true or false um, questions, and some are true and some are false, and that was one of them. This one, uh, this one, I think might rumble a couple of you. Uh, Cardi B's real name is Cardigan Backyardigan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 going for surely. <laughs> I'm I'm going for surely just for could be Dick Value in case it in case it is. Surely not. I need all the points I can get. Uh, surely not. Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this one with a thumbs up, thumbs down for you, Gregor. 
Okay. Surely not! Got a little extra information. That was a meme. Her real name <laughs> is Belithis Marlenis Almanzar. Did, did you see that French goalkeeper Steve Mandanda has a brother called Parfait Mandanda? Meaning that their parents called one of their children perfect and the other one Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Very, very. Oh, he, he played for Marseille. Where's the badge? Kiss the badge. Joey get, get, Barton. Get the badge in. <laughs> spaghetto is the singular word for a piece of spaghetti. Are you saying that a, a macaroni singular is a macarono? Or a macaroni. Or a macaroni. Macaroon! Wouldn't dare to comment on that, mate. I'd just say that spaghetto is the singular word for a piece of spaghetti. Are you telling me or are you asking me? I'm asking you. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you. <laughs> Terrible game if he was just no. telling you facts. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's oh, true. Uh, yeah, I'm going true. I'm going false. Surely not. Surely not. The, the game's called Surely, Surely Not. Uh, it was actually your game, Gregor, and yet you said true. <laughs> <laughs> surely! <laughs> <laughs> the answer is in fact... Surely! A, sp- a singular spaghetto. A, it's very much like a panini is plural. If you actually what? wanted to have a singular panini, you'd ask for a panino. Well, that's good. Well, that's, that's mental. But you'd probably get laughed out of the cafe. Oh, a taglatello. <laughs> is a taglatello a singular taglatelli? Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not confident to get into logistics with it, you actually. But I thought your mum uh, lived in Italy for eight years. Yeah, I didn't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I say something quite funny first? Yes. Me and me and we spent to Tesco earlier, and, he, and we both got a basket. And the only thing he had these basket all the way through Tesco, and to the tills was just one tub of butter. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you know what's funny? I had to get fucking Hamish to buy my beers for me because I didn't have my ID on. <laughs> 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 they were stand in the queue just a, 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 a basket just like one tubby but was it Lord Pack or was it Stork ah it was Lord Pack the Lord Pack yeah. easy spreadable what, one last thing is obviously there's been so much chat uh, <laughs> 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 I just looked at your face your, your nostrils you look, inflated the other city you look like you were exploding Cal. I just I really didn't want to laugh I'm really sorry, I was trying so hard to hold that in. But I just, I, f- I feel, like, you know, when you, you have to stay quiet in like assembly or in class or something, <laughs> and it's just like so hard. It was that. I'm really sorry. So, uh, just before we go, obviously, I, I, I mean, I don't think there'll be any other announcements by the time this comes out. Um, looks like summer might be back on, might be festivals. Fingers. Well, do, do, do you reckon it will? Actually, I'm gonna be uh, positive and say yeah. I'm too scared to say. I I I do I jinx it. Yeah, I feel like I might get sad if it doesn't, but I really want it to. So that's the thing know. that I I just don't want to get my hopes up mm. again. Yeah, for it to be kind of cut away. Fingers crossed if they get the. The vaccine dished out to everybody that needs it, like properly, elderly, like all, this, all the vulnerable people, get that dished out, and then I think, I I reckon I don't like I reckon like once that happens, that it will come to like a basis where like every, all the regulars like like guys like us like no health issues or something like that, just get battered out really 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 fast. So like maybe like in like June, like late June early July, the majority of people will have it. And then you'll be able to actually like start doing stuff like that. And not not just festivals, like festivals unreal, excellent. Just like gigs, pubs, outdoor stuff, like just fucking get life back, man. And I really hope by the end of the summer, like I want to be able to say that the start of next year will just feel normal. I really want to be able to say that. Uh but we'll just hit wait and see. See what happens. I, I'm I'm really excited at the thought of deleting Zoom. <laughs> yeah, so excited. Yeah. I'm so fed up of it. Preach. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking sucks, eh? I, it's the, the the one thing that like I th- I think it's great having this kind of like oh, like 
kind of beacon of hope or uh, that's very dramatic but however you want to say it but you showed me or like you sent me a, a comment on Facebook earlier Hamish from like an NME article and it was like there's no way that we're going from you're only allowed six people from two households in a park to three months later six people in a tent six, and a, six, six people, people in a two man tent and we'll, we'll leave the rest the, the yeah. The people don't need. The people can make up their own. The people own know what happens with festivals. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like the, and and that is like the reality of it. Really, until everybody does get vaccinated, then I'm going to be skeptical. But fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, mate. Fingers crossed. We can actually play some live gigs soon and get together and play soon. Fingers crossed, <laughs> fingers crossed mate. Yeah. Wonder why we'd have to do that. You'll just have to tune in to Dotcast 8 to find out. That's We've it. We've been dancing on tables. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye.